So today we're going to check in with our habitat that's full of gray cross orb weavers, also known as bridge spiders. There's somewhere between seven and nine of these guys in there. Honestly, I didn't count when I put them in there. I mean, I knew at one time. I don't know now. It does not appear that any of them got et. And as you can see in this video, they have no problem living together. I mean, it helps that I keep them well fed. But yeah, these spiders, along with dozens of others I did not even try to catch, were all found on a window that was about three foot by four foot out on a building on a dock. And I captured them before we set off the bug bombs. You got to clear the spiders out every so often. Otherwise, that building will just get to the point that you open a door and they are lowering down on you and you got web in your face. And it's just horrible. And it's not just orb weavers. It's every kind of spider in that building. These orb weavers, I mean, it's not bad if you're bit by one. At least that's what they say. I've heard their bite can range anywhere from a pinprick to like a bee sting. But remember... At any time, you can become allergic to any type of bug bite. They say with bees, you can get stung all your life, and then all it takes is one time, bam, you're allergic. The same as with spiders. Even if that spider does not have a venom, that's considered medically significant. Rule of thumb with any of the spiders I have, don't get bit. Oh, and don't let them escape. If you've seen some of my other videos, I have some camel spiders that are very fast and some tarantulas that are super fast. Faster than I actually believed a spider could be. So there you have it. This is our three-week update, or it's been about three weeks, for our community spider habitat. And really what you're seeing here is not very special because these spiders do live in groups. Now if you put some other kind of spider in there, it may not turn out so well. Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.